Quick video on Weber's test also goes alongside the Rinne's test to try and work out whether a hearing loss is sensory neural or conductor. Now remember in a Weber's test you put the tuning fork in the center of the forehead and you ask the patient where do you hear the sound loudest? Is it loudest in the middle or is it loudest on either side? Now if the sound is loudest in the middle and in the center then it goes down as a normal test. Now if you put it in the center of the forehead and the patient says I can hear it louder on the side that I can't hear very well. So say a patient comes and says doctor I can't hear on the right side and you do a Weber's test and they can hear it loudest on that right side i.e. the ipsilateral side that goes down as a conductive hearing loss in that side. If you get a patient that says, Doctor, I can't hear very well on the right side, and you do a Weber test, and they hear it louder on the opposite side, the left side, or the contralateral side, that goes down as a sensory neural hearing loss in that affected side. So two things are really important to remember. Number one, which side is the perceived hearing loss? Is it right or left? And number two, asking the patient, where does the sound localize? If the sound localizes to the side of the hearing loss, i.e. ipsilateral, it's a conductive deafness, if the sound localizes to the opposite side, either normal side, either contralateral side, then it goes down as a sensory neural hearing loss. Have a look at the Rini's uh, video as well, just to match with this one. Hope this helps.